We're given this question 2 to the power 2013 mod 15. We need to find the remainder. It is a very large power. So what we do in this congruency method, we find we inspect the value of twos first. This is basically our first step, inspecting the powers of twos. Two to the power one will be two, congruent to mod 15. In this case, our remainder will be two. We're gonna do a few more of these, which will be four, congruent to mod 15. Once again, our remainder in this case is four. Couple more, eight, congruent to mod 15. Once again, remainder is 8. 2 to the power 4 is 16. In this case, we notice that our remainder will be a different than 16. 15 divided by 16 minus 1. 15 divided by 15 gives us 1. And that's what exactly we were looking for, 1. If our remainder is 1, we do not go on further. We stop right there. That's our first step. You inspect the powers of 2s, and then you stop where you get the remainder 1. We have 2 to the power 4, we need to raise that power, some integer, that would give us as close as, or as close to 2013. So we need to find the integer k. By the way, this is done through a property. So we find the value of k. If you do it with a calculator, it's going to give you 503.25 something. And so we just need the integer, so we take 503. So once again, 2 to the power 4, we replace the value of k on both sides. We're very close. 4 to the power 503, if you multiply, you get 2012. 1 to the power 503 will give us 1. So we are very close. We reached up to 2012, and we need 2013. So all we need to do is to add another power here. That will give us 2013. So this is another property, by the way, that you can multiply both sides with the same number. So this gives us 2000. 2 to the power 2013, congruent to 2 mod 15. This is exactly what we were looking for. Now, we found our remainder in this case, which is 2. So we can say 2 to the power 2013, congruent to 2 mod 15, so once again, I'll 
tell you the steps all over again. We have 2 to the power 2013. If we had 3 to the power 2013, we inspect the powers of 3s. But since we have 2, two to the power 2013, we inspect the powers of 2s. 1, 2 to the power 1 gives us 2. And in this case, our remainder is 2. In the second case, our remainder is 4. In the third case, we got remainder 8. In fourth case, we got our remainder 1. And that's exactly what we are looking for. We stop right there when we have our remainder 1. And we, we continue from there on. Here, I raise the power of 4 to some k, both sides. This is done through a property but we need to find the value of k, which is not very difficult to find since we're given 2013. For k, we find our value of k. We replace the value of k on both sides. We get 2 to the power, two, two to the power 2012, which is very close to 2013. So we raise the power once again. I need to add another 2 here, so we get 2013, and in this side our remainder changes, we get 2, and that's exactly what we are looking for.